What's going on, everybody? My name is Japes, and welcome to another uh, episode of my Head to Head 214. So we got Chelsea and Aston Villa out of the way. Well, not out of the way. They were very fun teams to use yesterday. And today, I'm going to be going into, uh, let's see, actually, I think it's Everton is next up on the list. Maybe Everton and Fulham. Uh, it'll be different this year because you got Palace and uh, Cardiff are now in the BPL, I believe. So we're on Everton. And let's take a look at their lineup. This lineup now could be very different. I'm going to go with white again. Uh, the color line is not a joke yesterday. Uh, a lot of you guys actually know that I am. So default, we'll put him in a 4-2-3-1 because I think it's a very, very balanced formation for head-to-head. -head. And we'll see exactly how their team fits into that lineup. So Coleman will probably leave. He's a decent shout um, at the back. Distan and Jaglielka, really good pairing. Leighton Baines, awesome, solid. Oh, now, here is the question. I'm going to put Fellaini back as a holding midfielder. Osman, mm, he's not exactly pacey. His ball control and stuff's not bad. Pinar actually might be a better shot to put in the middle because he's not going to be very fast, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's quick enough. So I'll put it, I'm going to leave him as a camp for right now. Now, the in, so we've got on the, oh, hiding is a good center back shot as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave the other two in right now. Uh, Oviedo, Ross Barkley, uh, Jelovic. That's who I'm looking for. All right, so Jelovic will put in. See, I'm tempted to just put Kevin Morales at striker because he's ridiculously pacey, and I feel like he'd be quite good. Now, Naismith is another pacey player that would probably do quite well. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hit, oh, der Hammer, Thomas Hitzelsberger, uh, who is no longer with them, I believe. So this right now, mm, I think it's too much to leave Jelovic on the bench, or to leave, uh, so I think I'm going to put play Naismith instead of, oh, Osmond's just like such a better player though, or at least it looks like he is, but Naismith's just so much faster. Actually, his attention position or attacking positioning is quite good. We'll play. We'll play Naismith to start. Um, now, Kevin Morales, I am going to leave him on that left side, not play him at striker. I think Jelovic could do a good enough. Actually, I should be playing. I should be. I should be playing that four three three. So cancel that. Scratch that. Um, looking at this team, where's my four three three defending? Happy days. Because we're going to want Morales as far forward as possible. I'm going to leave him on the left wing. Pinar, I'm going to move. I'm going to have Naismith attacking because he's. I think he'd be quite good attacking. And uh, instead of playing... Hmm, well, how's his, what's his defending like? So Pinar, I'll probably... I kind of want to play Fellaini in this. Actually, we're going to just leave Pinar right there in the middle. And that's the way we're going to set this up. Because I really want Morales far forward. And I could... Actually, a 4 one 2 one 2 might be really good with them. 4 triple 2 actually probably would be better with them. But this is the way we're going to play. So, I don't know. As you guys can probably tell at this point, I have a few formations that are maybe my favorite. Well, not my favorites, but I'm really comfortable with. And when you get comfortable with a few formations, they tend to work out. Especially if you can sort of fit a team into that formation. Defensively, I'm feeling really confident. Um, I'm going to put my phone on silent real quick so it doesn't go off. All right, so we're on silent. Uh, once you get comfortable with a few formations, then it's happy days. I thought about moving full. The reason I was thinking the 4-3-3 defense might be so good was because then I could play Fellaini as that center mid of the center mids and get him a little bit farther forward, kind of sitting just to boss the game. But I wanted to keep Pinar on the field as well, and I don't really think Pinar is fast enough to play a winger the way I want to play. So we're up against Sao Paulo. They've got Jadson, uh, Luis Fabiano, Gonzo. I'm not familiar. I think that Rodrigo Chow is quite fast. He's playing a 3-1-4-2, uh, which is really, I guess, kind of interesting. Um, and I will probably end up doing quite well because I'm going to have my two CDMs that are going to sit in nicely. And then I'm going to have the three wingers just all over the place. So I actually think that I should be try really trying to get Fellaini farther forward. Pinar. Pinar, though. What a great little run there. He'd been totally uh, non-existent until that point. 
And I'm happy to take my first goal. Sweaty, call it what you may. Uh, maybe I don't have the most exciting gameplay, but I like to think of it more as a maybe quality gameplay. You won't get all the highlight goals for me because I don't go. I can score them. I just don't go for them very often because I don't. I, I guess I see the point of scoring them, but I don't see the point of always trying to score them. Oh, shoot. He's going to. Oh, that boy, Naismith. Oh, Pinar's dead. Pinar is dead. Right. Okay, well, that's that game. And, uh... Yeah. So we're moving on to Fulham. <laughs> I guess what's next? We'll be moving on to Fulham. And, uh, let's see. Clint Dempsey's old Mannschaft. Oh, those orange kits are cool. I'm gonna use those. And I uh, don't, let's see, they're set up in a 4-2-3-1 default, which is good, uh, which means theoretically they should fit that. I don't know how much pace they have. I know they've got big hangling at the back. Ryther is, uh, Ryther was quite good um, this season. Senderos, oh boy. So, oh, they're back to, oh, Reese is not fast either. I didn't know Karagunas went there. All right, so we leave Duff on the right. That works out perfectly. Um, I'd rather have Brian Ruiz in the middle. Burbs up front. Happy days. You know, he looks better than... Oh, Dejaga? Hmm, I will play him. Oh, yeah, I'll play him instead of... Yeah. Richardson. While Ruiz's rating is better, I don't think that he's actually better. So I'll bring on Radiega probably as a sub. Look at how fast Fry is. We are moving him to the bench without a doubt. When things go sour and I need... Ooh, Emanuelson. Yes, please, you will be in the side. Hmm. No, I'll play. I'll play Irby on the left. So that ends up being a pretty good attack. Now, Berbatov isn't very fast. Oh, oh, they they've got they are a bench team. Oh, CDR is quite slow though. He's probably quite he's probably extremely strong though. So, don't think I'll play him, but I'll I'd rather have him than a 60 rated goalkeeper on the bench. Senderos is making me nervous because can I play Sidwell at the at center back? My well, shot power is quite good. I probably could get away with playing him as a center back. He's, I don't know how much of an improvement he'd be over Senderos, though. Hmm. And Hughes really isn't an improvement either. Frimpong. Frimpong. Yeah, that's the way we're going to play this. So not too many changes, a very, very slow back two that could be exploited. If I come up against, like, uh, another Brazilian team, like with Neymar, for instance, Santos. Well, I guess Neymar's with Barca now, but on FIFA, I believe he's still with Santos. So if I come up against something like that, I could be in trouble. But I'm hoping that that won't happen. Opponent found on, like, a one second, one second late saying that. But it's there. We're good to go. Got big Brett Hanglin, who actually, I believe, is from Texas. So he could have played for the U.S. national team, but he chose to go with Norway. So that's another player that the U.S. missed out on, because he probably would have done well to uh, to be part of our back line. Wait, what? I have Hanglin as a right striker? Did that say it? That said right striker at the bottom. Let's wait and see this lineup. Oh, PSG against Fulham? What kind of matchup is that? Oh my gosh, and I thought I, Braz I was worried about a Brazilian team. This is going to be brutal. Wait, what formation is he playing? I've got Hanglin at the back. Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. This could be interesting. Now, Brian Ruiz isn't fast, but he's got, he's got the ball control. 
which is now Burbs. Burbs has still got the slick skills. <sighs> Demeter Berbatov. Demeter Berbatov. Demeter. Hmm. Emmanuelson with the pace. Ah! What? Ah! That was Duff winning that header. That's bodying. Opponent. Bob Burbs, come on! All right, so I'm pretty much in full control. Let's see if he tries to pass it short again. Irvy, step up. Yes. So actually, I dragged Emmanuelson forward right there. One, two. Oh. Oh, ref. Ref. It's got to be a penalty, right? No, ref. Ugh. All right. So who's got the who's got the curve to pay the bills here? I don't think anybody. Emmanuelson be my best shot, but I'm gonna try to do the chip up shot. Ina. Oh, I should have put someone else on the free kick. Knowing that if I didn't hit X hard enough, it would go to him. So Irby is absolutely bossing on the far post. On the far post. Go on, Duff. Flick it over your head. Pull it back. Oh, come on! Sometimes you must go backwards to go forwards. Play a little 1-2 game between these two. Brian Ruiz. Brian Ruiz! Goal! The, he's Costa Rican. The Costa Rican! I'm pretty sure he's Costa Rican. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I might have... No, I'm almost positive he's Costa Rican. The former... Uh, what was he? Ajax? Is that right? Or was he PSV? I don't know. He was in the Dutch League somewhere and I can't think of where it was. Feyenoord? Hmm. I'm all over the place now. Now I'm just naming now I'm just naming big teams in the Holland. Oh no. Oh no, the Ebra breaks. Oh the save. Schwarzer! What a tackle, Steve Sidwell. Woo! Look at all the space. All the space for Dermon Duff. He that's Alex. I should be able to outrun Alex. Oh gosh, he's gonna grab me though, and I'm gonna be just, I'm gonna be done. Back to the end line. Burbs! Burbs! Irby! No! Oh, ref! Uh, Fulham, so they're actually rather fun to play with. Um, and it might be because I'm playing against a better team using like a worse team, and so it's always kind of more fun doing well that way. Look at Brian Ruiz's space in the middle. The rainbow flick. Oh! Shoot. Come on, Hanglin. The tackle! Oh, what a tackle! Yes! Woo! Oh, it's off of him! Oh, that's just GG. That is GG. Do a dummy. Oh, I'll take that. On Irby's the strike. Oh, I was thinking an absolute thunderbolt right there, but it didn't happen. It was not meant to be. Demeter Berbatov. Demeter Berbatov. I don't know the rest of the song with Demeter Berbatov. <laughs> Goal. Woo. Me. Woo! 2-0 at the half. Through Brian Ruiz and Dimitar Berbatov. We're having like a little Berbatov fanboy moment right here. Look at the skills from Brian Ruiz. Lovely. Just lovely. So we have... He's got 12% possession in my final third, which I'd like to be under 10%. Um, and he does have five shots in sort of decent places. So we'll see how that plays out for us in the second half. As I use all of the teams in the BPL on my way to FIFA 14, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. Oh, I think I was even dreaming about it last night. It was pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I, was, I was dreaming of FIFA 14 glory. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that will come true sooner rather than later. Gone Duff. So I meant to pass that to Irby, 
not pass it straight forward. So that worked out pretty well. That ball roll from Duff just to get inside. I probably could have tried to take it on with Duff alone and score. Um, maybe even score with Berbatov as well. Let's see if I can see it. No, you can't really tell in the replay. But it worked out nicely. And Emanuelson's kind of a beast on this in head-to-head. -head. Oh, I'm going to score this. Oh, look at the plays. The controller dying bait. The controller dying bait. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even need to use skill moves um, to score goals. That, that skill, though, right there. Just stopping it dead. The old controller disconnect. What a skill it is. I'm going to try to play this through, even though I don't think it's going to work. It worked. Round the keeper. Oh, referee! <laughs> I'm thinking Burbs is feeling cheeky. I'm thinking he's feeling cheeky here. He's feeling cheeky! Woo! <laughs> you cheeky devil, Burbs. Always been good from the spot. I didn't think he dove originally. He stood there for like a second, and then he was like, oh, no, and he just dove. Anderson Casita. Cut back inside. Thanks, friend. So 5-0, that's probably going to be the final score. I don't really see myself scoring another. I should have put on Radiega to see exactly how good he is on this game. Uh, he might be a sleeper for like a FIFA in the future. So I'm going to make the center back commit to me, and then as soon as he commits, then we're going to play it out wide. And I'm going to ball roll inside here. And swoop! Nice and easy. So 6-0 final score is what it's going to be. Thought it was going to be 5-0. It is not. It is 6. And we are uh, we're keeping consistent. And we're well on our way to... Uh, man, if we could win all the games with all the BPL teams, that would be awesome. Which I, I can't imagine that'll... Ha well, I don't know. Head-to-head's nice because it matches you up with the same star. Though this these two teams aren't exactly the same star level, so... Hmm. I guess that kind of goes out the window. Maybe not. Oh, what am I doing? Lovely. Victorious! Woo! All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. We are... I'll get out of the screen. So 6-0 versus PSG. A great scoreline. We're now 11-0. We are in Division... Eight, uh, we have eight games remaining, six points out of our two matches, so we need another, well, we need to win two more games to get promoted to Division 7, so that'll, I'll probably have some of this up again tomorrow, because this is really fun to do. Thank you guys for watching, other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.